All right, everybody, I've been asked a few questions about the CA glue that I use. Uh, if you are a woodworker, you know and use wood glue pretty extensively. Um, what I use is wood glue for the majority of what I need, but when we're making small connections, like I'll give you an example in this box, I've got just butt joints, but it's used just to, as you see, just to put some tacks in there, and I use some curly maple to make it look nice. But to try to pin nail that in there, it just then you'd have to putty it and fill it. So this is a big good example of a box that I made 100% with just CA glue. Um, for those chemistry nuts out there, there's the chemical makeup. It's for cyanoacrylate. Cyano cyanoacrylate is the sort of the generic name for the super strong um, super glue type uh, glues. Um, you can get a generic one, pretty straightforward. I think uh, uh, Gorilla makes one now, and there's uh, this company who who makes these for individual. Like well, we have a hobby shop here, and they put their label on it. But these are pretty well known. Um, what you see here is three different types of CA glue. This one is a super thin, almost like a water. I use that more for finishing when I'm turning pens and, and, and bottle stoppers. Now we also have this one that's just a super thick. This goes on really thick. This has a drying time of about 60 uh, to 90 seconds. Um, using it on its own. Now I like to use an accelerator. An accelerator I spray on and if you've seen in my videos and it gives it almost an instant step. Um, and it sets up almost instantly. Uh, what I've done is, is a lot of times I'll take these little bottles you buy for meant for the airlines and I fill it up and so I, I find it's cheaper just to buy a, a big bottle of it and, and, and refill that. I've probably refilled this five or six times. Um, there are also another one, and this one a lot of people like, it's called the gap filling um, it glue. And it just eventually goes on, it's, it's kind of a thicker set, but it does expand slightly. Um, and uh, I think that these three as a combination work really well. If you were just going to get one, I would get a thick or an extra thick. Gives you a little bit more play on it. Um, you know, these, these, these accelerate... Um, while they're drying, they get pretty warm. If you use this, it gets pretty hot. You'll even see a little vapor or smoke coming off of it. You want to make sure that you don't breathe in too much of this because there is a little bit of a toxic, um, you know, vapor that comes off of it. Pretty mild, but in general. Um, but for, for woodworking, it's it's a great thing. It works really well. I'll give you an example of a box I did not use it on. Is I made this small little box for my pens and pencils. And uh, came out really well, but as you see, I, I pin nailed it, and now I really can fill these in, and then sanded them out. But I could have easily made this with just the CA, and and not pinned it together. Um, but that's it. I, I just I enjoy using it. It works really well. And uh, if you're considering uh, doing some woodworking, even just to set something up, you know, instantly. Uh, with the accelerator, it almost crystallizes instantly within a few seconds. Um, you want to, uh, you know, nail it together, screw it together. This is a good way of kind of binding it quickly and fast. Uh, you get it on your fingers, you're going to need to sand it off or just wash it off as best you can. Um, be careful with it, and uh, it's a great thing. It should be everybody who's a woodworker should be using some CA glue in some manner.